Construction cronies, what's going on? Chris here. I am bringing you a T bar video right now. Amazing T bar guys. Think about that for a second. I've been doing videos for six years and uh, the last T bar video I did was like six years ago. I mean, uh, other, and let me hold on. Let me pause this for a second. Other than the, uh, like the T bar square tool that uh, my friend John in Ottawa invented. Shout out, John. Speedysquare.com, guys. I've been, I have been learning T-Bar, okay? This is not really something I did. I know I'm ISM, but T-Bar is not the th something I did, right? There's a lot to our trade, right? We have even EFIS, is, EFIS right? The stucco, that's a part of our trade. I've, I, I've only done it a couple of times, but I understood it better than I did T-Bar. I'm a one lucky bugger because I have a teacher who's amazing, Murat. My, my friend who's from, my Russian friend here, this guy's an amazing, amazing tradesman. And he's been teaching me T-Bar. And we've been working together. And we've been, we've been sharing ideas. And, and I'm telling you guys, we've been producing some amazing results. So if you haven't been paying attention to my on-site live stream playlist, you're missing out. Because we are the dream team, guys. I swear to God. Okay? This, is, this team is going to teach you guys everything about ISM. And we're here to help you and answer any questions you have. I wasn't going to release this video, but shout out Raymond. Ray G. Yeah, my, my guy. You know, he knows who he is. I decided to put out this T-Bar video early. As I was, as I was being taught, I, I recorded it. Okay, I recorded what Marat was saying to me. I recorded everything. And I was like, why not? I'm going through the footage. I'm like, why not just put it out? I mean, Marat's a great teacher. The guy knows his stuff. So I'm, I'm going to cut in on a couple times during the video because uh, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't put the dialogue in because of the music. <laughs> I, I don't know. For some reason, I left the radio on. And uh, yeah, lots of Christmas music going on. So it, I, um, I had to cut those parts out, those audio parts out. So pay attention. This is a long video. This is an hour-long video, guys. If you watch this whole video, you're going to learn a ton of shit. Okay, a ton of stuff. Sorry, I can't say that word. But I promise you, if you watch this whole video, you will not regret it. There is so much information in it. I'm like, I can't cut this stuff out, man. I can't. It's just, it's a, it's too valuable. It's too valuable. I got to share this with you guys. I got to share this with the cronies because this is just gold. It's gold. So shut up, Marat. Shout out Construction Crony. Shout out to all you guys. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to kind of talk about some stuff. All right. Uh, Murat's going to come on and he's going to talk. I'm going to talk sometimes. Okay. But when the audio goes out, it's, there's nothing wrong with the video. It's just I had to cut it out because of uh, music. Copyright. Don't want that. All right. So here we are. This video is going to teach you guys everything about laying it out. This is going to teach you the core, core principles for T-bar, for suspended ceiling grids. This, this video is going to teach you how to lay it out properly from the drawings with examples of both. Okay, so if you've even made it this far in the video, kudos to you. You are in for a treat, man, because uh, everything is explained thoroughly. Okay, where to put hangers, everything. Now, I was just getting started here, so he's teaching me how to do the wall mold. The wall molding, there's a secret trick to cutting your mitered corners. you want you, It's really simple and it doesn't really show yet, so I'm gonna explain it to you as it comes. Let's just go here. I'm sure it comes up real quick. Okay, here, here it is. So one end lays flat. Okay, one end lays flat. Uh, the, the part that comes this way, you cut, or, or sorry, you cut this way. <laughs> Shit, hold on. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, shoot, I can't see that. You cut it like this, right? So there's a corner. How you do that is really simple. You just have a little piece of wall mold in your pocket and you draw, okay? Here's your full wall mold, okay? You put the piece up to it and make a mark with your pencil, right? The width of it. And you cut from the end to the mark. That's it. 
That's how simple it is. And then the the other side is just flat. You just got to remember to cut the back side off so that the tile will have nothing interfering with the tile. Okay, this is the track to put the wall mold on. Okay, this is the track. Okay, so if you don't understand that, please let me know down below in the comments, but I, and I'll try to explain it to you. But I, it's just it's so simple, guys. That's not the hard part. The hard part is the layout, which you're gonna learn in great detail. So you can see here now it just lays flat, and then you miter the other side, and then that goes on top of the mitered side, which you, you'll see here. Set your elevation. When you're doing your wall mold, we set the elevation to exact height. Okay, so we have the laser on, and we're putting we we're putting the wall mold on to the exact height. There's the there's the miter part. You see the line? I I just drew that to show you. That's the width of the wall mold. So it's a it's just you. That's how you get your angle. And here we are on the outside doing more wall mold. Matt's gonna come up here right away. The dialogue's gonna start here any second, guys. I'm gonna get cut off. But literally, ask any question down below in the comments, and I'm, I'd shout out Murat again. He's an amazing teacher. I learned so much. I'm fully confident I could do T-bar on my own. So if they don't have a special measurements for me here, mm -hmm. so how I do these things, I'm always trying to see where the narrowest thing is going to be here. So what I look right here, there's not, nothing like fancy that's going to mm -hmm. be less than half for this one. And we're going to run first main tees this one gonna be first one okay and then from this one we're gonna go our four footers this way mm -hmm. right why if i'm gonna run this one here we can actually but then the small pieces mm -hmm. it's too much to cut yeah what i like to have this long piece mm. first and then next four footers gonna be right here next four footers right here Next four footers right here. Every fourth one. Right, this mm -hmm. one here, and then we're gonna have our one full, and there's gonna be another piece you see right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll able to get away with this one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm just piece, yeah. yeah. I'm just looking for, for these pieces here. See they put it mm -hmm. here? So we should have our T bar match. Like that, mm -hmm. and much like this, a little bit. Okay. So what I need for that one, I'm just gonna set my tape and see. I need <coughs> pretty much like a number four, six, or ten, something. Just we have what four, six, and ten, right? Yep. For the main, main, main ones, main teeth. So what we have there right now? Four and a small three quarter, four or five eighths. Five and a quarter, yeah. Maybe we will be able to skip that small piece. Yeah, sure, I, get, I totally get. Just shift it this way. But also, we have this slip here, but again, mm -hmm. whatever happens, it's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Just most important, I want to see if they want to have like lights, full pieces here. Here, a little bit to catch here. Okay, so we're going to try mm -hmm. to go this one here. I should have moved him. Oh. <laughs> He's puppy. I just need to move here so we can catch my measurements. So I'm gonna throw it right here. And see if we can 
Do you want it on the wall? Yeah, it's on the wall. It's not so small piece, it's gonna be like six inches piece or something. Six inch? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Because we had to shift some of those walls as well, mm -hmm. right? And then you check, is the, the front too? Is it the same? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna check that too right now. Yeah, I see, I see. So I need, I need my flat numbers, like uh, four, six, ten, and everything like that. Okay, do you want another tape measure? Oh, no. Yeah. My forefoot, mm. and I have one, two, three, four, five. Five inches is looks. Much yeah, it's, it's the same. Better. Same pieces on either mm. side, basically. So your starter piece will be the same as the, each side of the. Yeah, that looks cleaner. And you're close on that side too, then, right? Yeah, and we're so, gonna have that six or whatever on this mm -hmm, side too. Mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Yeah. Nothing else. I don't want to watch this. Whatever, too many pieces. So yes. we're just gonna start from this one here. I'm gonna. Where I'm gonna set my laser? Mm -hmm. On this line, my main piece, mm -hmm. and the longest one that I have here. This could be this line. Mm -hmm. Or could be this line. Okay. But I'm gonna check for here. So I'm gonna press two, three. Yeah, I can throw it. So I put it here. So I start. Just a moment. It doesn't matter even if I can set it here. I just need this one, most important, and one of these guys here. And then as I have this one braced. I can run all my four, 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 and it doesn't go anywhere. Или я могу это сюда поставить. Если я поставлю сюда, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this line here. This one here. Mm-hmm. Lights, 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 lights. So, just three. Pretty much looks like you see this one here. Mm -hmm. Halfway, right? Looks like this one gonna be halfway. Mm -hmm. That's about a foot. Mm -hmm. A foot from the bucket. Mm -hmm. From the bucket, right? Was this sort of a I think it was, yes. Here to that wall, 
All right. So I think that's good enough for us. There's lots of small pieces we're gonna have here. So we're gonna have two full tiles and uh, what? 10, 10 inches on this side. Let's see. So over here we're gonna have Now, if you could put them four, four, okay. and just bend it a little bit, just like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set my uh, oh. If I go from this one and then I'm going to this one, yeah. I have another four, I have another four. And then from this truss here, if I go for my next four right here, I have another four for this side here. Okay. This is less than four. One on this truss, one on that truss, the next four is gonna be here. And again from this four, from this truss, I'm gonna go one. Two, and there you go, my four of the walls. Beautiful. Right? So here's going to be my first, right here. Here's my line. Mm. Make sure this is on 10, so you don't over screw them. On 10? Yeah, 10, yeah. 12, whatever okay. works. Yeah. So it stops by 10. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Cool. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Again, load the next one. Oh, this is cool. I do have a video of this, but. Next one right here. Make sure it's loose. In. Bend, it down. bend down. Why you need to bend down so when you pull this one out, yes. nothing stays on the way. You can give a little bit double before here if you want to. Okay. So one here, next one go into this one. Neat. Very cool. Again. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Get two lasers set up. follow my green line this way. Okay, so because you don't need to follow that line. Okay. Well, not well obviously because, not. Yeah, yeah because, because you have all trusses. Yes. So yeah. I'm just going to follow this line here. Yeah. Yeah, I just went on this. It was amazing. One here. And every fall. Every fourth one? Yeah. 
So every four foot, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Every That's where foot. we're gonna have our main teeth on. Right. On that yeah. side. <clears throat> and then how wide do you go, of, like in between? Four. Four by four. Four okay. by four. Four by four. Square guy. Okay. Yep. Okay. And again, if there's gonna be any extra load or something, of course we need to look at the specs and just follow them. If there's extra, right, right. Uh, extra weight and it heavy somehow, but if not regular, like uh, nothing like that, and just go on. It. So here's my next one. Someone can ask you why you don't use the existing one. Yeah, because you don't want it on an angle. I, I, I force, and then I need to clamp up there. And put the wire on, on, yeah. I can do everything from the ground. <laughs> yes. Yes, right, that's doing it from the ground, yeah. Don't get too much higher. Right, so, and then we go every four feet this way. And four feet that way. Yeah, so we're, And then, and then, in, are you you're you're less than four feet to the wall, so you don't put in another one, then, right? Right on. Yeah, that makes sense because the wall is like a the hanger. Yeah. 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 Very cool, man. The net is strong by itself. So I seen someone was uh, really didn't put any hangers on uh, every foot. It is more than foot, like six feet something. And oh. still, still was on. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. See, he's got all of these things that were in line. Mm. See the joist sort of the split. They're long enough so they don't go anywhere. And just for the wood trusses, I don't know if there's a part number on them. There you go, H3 ILAG 2 and 7 eighths. H3 ILAG 2 and 7 eighths. And then we move the lasers. They shouldn't be like uh, tight on four, but as close as possible. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you hang your yeah. grid, it doesn't pull you from one side to another side. Right, right. Yeah, you don't want it, your hangers on an angle so it doesn't pull your grid. You don't want to force too much because then you're gonna lose your level up there. So in here we get so here we have less than four. Yes. You don't need anything here, but already. But yes, here you do. This yeah. One, as we go, we'll need three, two, and now we have to go to this one. Here. Yes. All right, guys. So you seen there. What we did, what he, what we did, he did there, is we literally drew on the floor the four foot marks where the mains go, and then we have multiple line lasers going at the same time. So we're la line lasering the lanes for where the four foot or the mains go. Okay, every four feet apart. The the like the whole grid is a two by two grid, and you're gonna see here shortly that I come in behind and and put the two by two. Uh, the, the two footers in okay everything's get when you're cutting into the walls you do that last right uh you and and in the in theory here what we're gonna do looking ahead is we're gonna stagger where the where the uh the joints land okay for the means because we don't want all the the, the joints and the uh, landing at the same spot along the, the that long part right uh, so he's, we're going to show you a technique to stagger the joints of your mains. 
So what we're doing right here is we're installing the hangers and this pole is amazing, okay? We just literally load it up with the fastener and we put the rod through, we've pre-cut the rod and bent it, okay? Like you've seen and it's amazing, guys. We What we wanna do here is we have, uh, we've picked two runs, two main runs that are gonna, that are running the opposite way of our mains. The four, like we've picked two four foot T runs that we want to follow. And we're going to line up the knockouts from the main, first main here. See this? We're measuring to because we want to line up all of the knockouts coming off of, the, for the mains coming off of this bulkhead behind us. We want all of the knockouts to line up so that the four foot tees all line up, okay? See what I'm saying there? That's what I mean by a knockout where the, four, where the, where the, 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 the cross tees click into, okay? We want, we want that to, to line up. So we're gonna cut the all of our mains coming off of that bulkhead a certain distance first before we cut the overall distance, okay? And that's something like you were uh, cutting knockouts to line up above a header, for example, when you're doing a door frame header, okay? Same thing, when you want the knockouts and the channel to line up, you know how you're measuring down and then cutting up? Same, same principle, okay? So that's what he's doing, okay? He's checking it at what he needs to do to how much to cut off uh to make the 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 all of the T's line up. And if you notice, you he, you you cut the bottom, okay? Bottom sides, boom boom, and then you cut the back on a little bit of an angle towards the the like the the the, the, the flat part, okay? And then this cut now is going to go back into the wall right it's going to go back into the wall and the connector part will stick out and now the the knockout is going to be right on the laser line so what we've done is we're setting our first main so we have a laser uh running center to uh this this main okay and then we have a another line you can see the green on the top we have another line running for the four the first four foot cross t section it's uh it's pretty cool stuff, eh? And and we figured this all out and we've laid it out on the floor and we we've we've determined how to uh divide our pieces, okay? We've we've all predetermined that. Laid it out on the floor. And th those are just butterfly clips, man. Look at how many he's got in his pouch, right? He's got a ton of butterfly clips. But uh yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully this audio is okay, man. I I'm always afraid like uh, recording on an OBS. I hope it doesn't sound like doo doo. But yeah, you can see right there how now the knockout lines up to where it's supposed to. And then the next piece will just be standard connect it and and that's it. Okay, just connect it and hang it. And then there there'll be an end piece going into the wall. And what, what, he, what he's going to do is he's going to wait till he actually has a piece of scrap. That he can put into that um, into the into the wall. Okay, he's gonna come forward. He's gonna do some more uh, mains before he gets a piece to put on the end there. So it's pretty cool, man. All 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 together, like this is a really good experience for me. Uh, super nice to to learn something new, and um, yeah, I just I really appreciate the the knowledge passed down. Uh, from from rat and i want to i'm i just like totally i'm like i gotta share this with the cronies i gotta show this with you guys like seriously it's uh it was a great lesson this guy's a great teacher uh like i said we've been sharing ideas now uh we've done a we've done a bunch of jobs and the uh, the results been amazing uh really good work you if i'm serious guys if you haven't followed the on-site live live stream playlist you got to, man. It's great. I do a daily vlog of our progress. And we do jobs all over Alberta. Okay. From right now, we're in Jasper, Alberta, Devon, Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, Cold Lake, and uh, Short Park even. Like, we're, we're, we're going all over the place. Okay. He's got to remember now, when we did the wall mold, we set the, uh, the, the elevation laser to uh, height. But when we start doing the grid, we're going to have a two inch offset and that's where the card comes in place. It's a magnetic card. Okay. We, we drop the laser down two inches and he, we're going to go into more detail on how he, he gets, he twists his, uh, his raw, his ties, but basically he grabs the pliers, he pulls on it, makes, makes the, the, the line straight. 
And then he puts the uh, the main to elevation, and he puts his pliers right to center of the of where the knockout is, and bends it, puts it in, and then you twist it three to four times, and always make sure the excess steel is either cut off or 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 like facing upward so it doesn't uh, invade the uh, the tile when you're tiling right you want the 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 tie to be facing up tight to the to the uh, to like you know you don't want it to be sticking out so your tile is is having a hard time putting your tiles in right but yeah you can see how he does it twists it three to four times and then bends it up right But oh my gosh, the, the really though most of this video, uh, I know I'm going to be talking for another few minutes here. But uh, there's going to be some dialogue coming in here in a second. But I'm going to be back for a few minutes, and then I think for the rest of the video, it's going to be uh, all natural video. So this will be like the only overlay recording that we're doing. But uh, hope you guys learn a lot. I really do. I really do. Thumbs up if you learn something here. So you can see hangers every four feet. So four feet lined up for the mains, and then four feet this way. So like a cube, four by four, a cube. We need to have hangers or some sort of, some sort of support within four feet of in every direction. Okay, and that's why it's important to set up your layout properly and and find out what you want to do this this is amazing like see the laser okay we have it running for the first main run and then we have it running uh along the uh, first four foot t cross t run this is the the t-bar tool guys okay and you can see how we're uh, we're using it to square this run and to show you the the laser line I, there, there's going to be more in-depth, advanced tutorials on this tool. The more that I learn about T-Bar, okay, and the more that I, I learn how to use the tool from the creator of the tool and stuff, okay. But you can see clearly, like, it, it's a nice square. It seemed, it, it squares off everything perfectly there, but the, you can even see the laser line on the on it better than you could before without it, right? So uh, it's it's pretty impressive, Okay. Pay attention too, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna also uh, laser line the like the fur like the, another four foot run just before this build out here for the pop machine area. We call that the soda fountain area. We're gonna we're gonna actually uh, laser line the the that four foot run as well because it's the longest one. And if you remember from the drawings, then yeah, you'll see the end result. The, the, the job is amazing. Like I, 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 we have a lot of T-Bar coming up, guys, so I'm going to get more in depth with it. But this is like my first time doing it, my first T-Bar job. Here you are. He's, he's cut. He's showing you. This guy almost never pulls out a tape measure. Okay, it's amazing. He, he's got so many tricks to, uh, to do things without tape measures. It's, it's so cool, actually. Um, but, yeah, you see how he cut that? The bottom, bottom, and then on an angle there. Boom, boom, boom. Cut into the wall there like you can test it he's testing it right there to make sure that it fits and it's like mint all right guys make sure to leave your questions down in the comments we have to also again uh make sure the the, the, the lines like the holes here are gonna line up so, so i'm there from from my line wall. Measure, measure back measure back to yeah, the line so i have a clean foot Okay. I owe myself a little bit of bones, mm -hmm. like a quarter of an inch, so it's 11 three quarter. Okay. So, I'm taking... Yeah, you take it from the closest hole. Yeah, where we have 11 three quarters. Yeah. And then your overall length you take from that cut all the way. It's like when you're cutting door studs and wanting to, the knockouts don't line up. 11 three quarters, right here. Yeah. Beauty. Actually, you can even get away without tape. If you turn it this way, mm -hmm. put it here, put it on the top. 
can go here. And again, cut it a little bit shorter. So you have room yeah. to move it. Beautiful. And this piece I will use for that end. Yeah, okay, yeah. Beautiful. And then you can see the, 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 yep, the laser line lines up to the cut, like the knockout where the, the, the forefooter goes into. So it's beauty. Should have done better than that. But yeah, you'll see here. So, I'm going right here. And then this thing here. And if you could pass it over. Give it to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beauty. You want me to cut uh, another main? Yeah, I should be able to. I would do that. I would do that. You can stay it there. Okay. Camera if you want to. And uh, I will do all the floors and mammas that way. And if you don't mind, just throw yeah. that one. You can yeah, I can come back and do the twos. Yeah. Hundred two percent. Two yeah, sure. So yeah, we're gonna check. Everything is straight here. Okay, double check everything's straight. Yeah. Right, the, the this line is good. Yeah. Sorry. Now I'm checking. There we go, beautiful. Give yourself a little bit of room to go. Yeah, yeah. Clamp this one. Butterfly clamp. Straight, that's it. As you have this line straight, and that last straight, it won't go anywhere. Yeah, okay. Just clamp it all tight the way they're supposed to be. It won't go anywhere. Okay, nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Now, and then you can kind of see too how yeah, he's got all that in, but and still he's just waiting for the right piece, the scrap, to come and finish the end here. I right? He's got, piece. but. Yeah, that's okay. No need to measure tape anymore. No. And the stilts are handy, eh? Absolutely. My goodness. Snappy, snappy. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. I can leave this one just like that for now. It won't go anywhere. Yeah. And I'm gonna get the next one in. Yeah. Lining up the, the holes again. Yeah, because that's what I'm starting yep. from. I've got them two corners.
Make sure it lines up, laser line lines yeah. up, it's beautiful. Four floors, please. Yeah. So it's there. I mean, so because we have a straight line here. Yep. And uh, if we're gonna go what we have uh, 11 three quarter each and single one from this on, then we're gonna have all those joints and the one line. We don't want to. Right. We're gonna stagger. Stagger the joints, okay. So we measure from here the full piece. Wherever put over, we're gonna use that from that side. Right, okay. So that's I this. understand. They're beautiful. And this is a two by two grid. So we'll come back in and we're gonna put two foots in between, cuts on the end, okay? And then this one here will be four foot cuts into the this side of the bulkhead. But it looks pretty good. It looks really even. Like it, lo it looks great. Like the even cut like here and here type. It looks really close. Yeah. Like even the, the side looks really good too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one to up here. Okay. So how do we do it? Yeah. I'm catching this wire. Mm -hmm. Pulling it down. Pulling it down Slide straight. It down. Yeah. And then my hands here, support, a little bit up. There I have it. So I go to the center of the hole. Go to the center of the hole and yeah. bend it. As you bend it, it's gonna go right on the top piece. And that's it. That's nice. It. Very, very, very nice. And you bend all the edges up? All the edges up. Bend all the edges up. Yeah, as it'll, it'll mess with your tile when you're... You mess with the tile too. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. The bulkhead's straight. Hmm. <laughs> 11 three quarters. Yeah. You can go 11 three quarters from here like that. Or you see where it comes 11 three quarters. Just a little bit of this one. Stop. 11 three quarters. It's a little bit behind the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have an event at that point. Yeah. This side and small piece 
right here. Yeah. Then it will go this way. Just throw this on the camera. Chop from that one. That's pretty much gonna. Yeah, right, and and then so use it for the. Meaning the forefoot's on the line, right? So yeah. it's the distance is good. And go this way again. And cut a little bit longer than it. Cut a little bit longer. Yeah, just maybe and one of, what do you call it? One, of one quarter, okay, one quarter bigger. Yeah. And that, is that because it it's gonna clip in? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good connection, so it stays without the hangers. Trimming it a little bit. Make it perfect, yeah. yeah. 
So, if we're gonna start the full piece from that side again, yes, we're gonna end up with the joints, joints at the same. We, want, we, don't want that. we don't want that joints together. So he's going to use the piece that he used to cut that off to stir it again. Yeah. So it's not on my line. Right. And you will see why later. So again, I need 14 three quarters, or I just can go as I did the previous one. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of the cut, a little bit of this. Yeah. Yes. So I don't pull my tape anymore. See the joints are different now. They're they're not at the same spot, and they'll get they'll kind of uh, incrementally go uh, into. In so you can go and shift this one right away if you want, or you just can hang it on temporary basis. Yep. Just to hold it. Right on. Yeah, it's lining up that knockout again, and you can now see the joint staggered. It's giving the, the wall much more strength. And like he's saying, when he puts these four foot tees in, the ends, if the joints were all the same, they would not be strong, right? They would move. <laughs> okay. And again, why you don't want to have them all in the same connect like one line? Yeah. You can have your heart. Colors of heart parts. So they don't lay out perfect to this one. Mm -hmm. And this looks much better, cleaner. Really. Sure, yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks cleaner. Oh, yeah, you don't, you never want all your joints lined up. This one? Yes. Right there. That's it. Beautiful. Sure fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. And two. So I'm doing the two, the two footers. We want to start from the where we have our laser line and work our way into the wall. Okay, that way you know you, you're on center here. And you don't start with your cut, work backwards, right? You wanna start with your laser line and work this way. And also, when you're, here, I'll just bring this up. Also, you want to see the clips, all right? This one side has a clip, like a hook side, okay? You want to match, you want to put it in with the same side so that they connect and they hook onto each other, right? So this one will go in like this, okay? Hook to hook, all right? If you put it in on the other side, there's nothing holding it together and it'll just pull out, okay? So there's a certain way, just like that. <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Right on. Beautiful. Click, did click, 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 did click, click, look at click, ego. 
Okay. Make sure everything's tight. And then on the end cut, same thing. Okay, we're gonna put the end with the tab into the wall. Fit, turn it so the white is facing towards us. Okay. And basically what we wanna do here is we wanna just cut it a quarter inch past the center. Okay, not the center because the, the, it'll clip in, right? So we line it up like so. Clip. And when we're cutting, okay, cut the bottom, the white, and then clip this on a bit of an angle, okay? Then you can test it by putting it on the wall and seeing right how it fits before you you click it in and try to force it in. Beautiful, just like that. Checking square. All right, so, and if we weren't short some material, we would finish uh, the little pieces here and the center, but we need to get some more material uh, that'll, that won't be dropped off till tomorrow. Uh, wall mold along here type thing. So in case you see funky stuff, that's why, <laughs> right? You can see the center line, of the laser followed all the way. Okay, all the way. But yeah, two by two grid, man. My first T-bar job. This is my first T-bar job. Hey, this is really my first time. <clears throat> I mean, I helped the guys before many, 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 many years ago, but I, that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. This is it. This is the first time. <laughs> Plus, Murad actually showed me how to do it. That the the guy I helped before he didn't show me how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, looking good. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah, so do you want can, some? We can want me to put one? one? Because we don't have, uh, sure, I'll put one. Okay. Uh, so it's almost all done. We just have this to do. I think honestly, we you could if we were going together full blown, we could do this whole thing in one day. The grid. Yeah. yeah like it's really crazy. It's fast. It's so much easier than it looks. Like you know. I was intimidated by it, really. It was just something I just never really wanted to learn. It's just too too complicated to get the hangers right and this and that, but that's when I was younger, so I kept that attitude. But now, you know, I'm older and more refined. It's, uh, it's, it's very straightforward, actually. Very good stuff. If you got the right tools, eh? Like, if you have the right tools, it's, this, is, this is cake, man. So yeah, all the hangers are lined up on every main, every four feet. It's beautiful. It's so strong. You can tell how, you just by looking at it, you can tell how stiff it is. Like, it's really cool. And then if you show all the tiles up, uh, it won't go anywhere. Yes. I'm going to put this one tight, mm -hmm. these two cuts, so it doesn't move much. See, while it's moving. Yes. So I have my laser mark right here. Yep. My laser mark right here. Yep. So I'm gonna put this one very tight. Yeah, so he's putting the first one in tight to so that the, the laser line stays on center. 
and it'll pressure fit when he puts the end in. Right here, again, those core or whatever doesn't count. Yes. You need that sometimes. set all our tiles in here, everything will be squared and then we're gonna start all the off cuts. Yeah. Done and pretty much. Yeah they look great. Look they look all even. It looks very even. Look, it looks nicer than it did See, on the drawings. I'm gonna ask you why no uh, nothing here. You don't really need anything. No fuck. Super strong. I'm gonna throw all my cuts here right now so we don't have to come back. Yes, sir. 